hope that I can give you some ideas for your mom as we do our reading. Let's see. I try, I have two things going on here, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to maybe answer a couple of questions. Let's see. We're going to be starting here in about three minutes. Hello, how are you? Welcome. So we have a special focus today. I'm going to wait for some more little ones to kind of peek in here because we're going to highlight a particular skill like we always do. So let's just give a couple more minutes, even though we know our friends can always go back and relook at the video. Good job. So we're just, we're just, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started. So today, our special skill represents what's inside of my bowl. And inside of my bowl is a really, really big, long word. This word says metacognition. Can you say that word? Metacognition, yes. So when we think of the word metacognition, it is about thinking about our thinking, thinking about our thoughts. So I have a little chart for you here. And it says metacognition. And first we talk about the text. And it says what the author has to say. So the text are the words in the book. And it tells us exactly what the author wants to say. The author usually comes up with a storyline of some sort. And they come with the different text that we actually read. Then in the middle represents a good listener and a good reader. Because text plus metacognition means a very good reader. We don't just want to read to just look at the words. We want to read to be able to process the information. So the next part says thinking. Thinking. What's going on inside my head? So as you read, what's going on inside of your head? And then there's a speech bubble, a thinking bubble, and it says thinking about my thinking. Good job. So I'm going to give a special shout out to all those two supporters who have already subscribed. I don't want you to forget to subscribe and you can share this with several, several people because this is free education. Let's get on board, right? Let's get our babies thinking. So inside of my box, do you know what this is? It's a, it's a vegetable. Hmm, a red vegetable. Tomato. Can you say tomato? So the tomato represents the text of what the, the author is actually writing. And this part is lettuce. So this is my metconditioned bowl. So this is the lettuce. And with the lettuce, we want to make sure that we are encouraging our metacognition thoughts. So my first lettuce says, I think. So as I'm reading, I want you to think about what you're thinking, what thoughts come to mind, I think. The next one I want you to think about is, I'm feeling. How are you feeling? What do you feel? What kind of emotions are you going to feel or express as I'm reading? The next one says, I wonder. Hmm, what do you wonder? What do you think is going to happen? What do you wonder? Are there any predictions that you're making? Do you wonder how the characters feel? And finally, I notice. I notice. So you're going to tell me what you notice as we read. So those thoughts are, I notice. The next one is, I think. And then we have, I'm feeling. And finally, the last thought that we have is, I wonder. So as I read, I'm going to try to think about my thinking. I'm going to think out loud about my thinking. So let's go ahead and jump into our read aloud. Remember what we're highlighting? Megacognition. You're thinking about your thinking. So it says, it's by Natasha Wings and it's illustrated by Amy Wumber. And the story is called The Night Before Mother's Day. 
Today is the day before Mother's Day. Do you have something planned for your mother? The night before Mother's Day. I hope this gives you lots of different ideas of ways to honor and appreciate your mother because we have to continue to show gratitude. Our mothers are like people with a magical wand. They have all these superpowers and they do so, so much for us. So without further ado, let's jump into the reading. And it's called The Night Before Mother's Day. Hmm. Night Before Mother's Day. "'Twas the night before Mother's Day when, as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out the house. Hmm, I wonder why they want to get Mom out the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals soon will be there. I noticed the two children looking out the door waiting for mom's running pals. Where do you think they're going to run? Hmm. Do you think they're gonna have enough time to prepare for their mom's special day before she returns? Let's take a look. Then out in the yard, there rose quite a crowd. Come on, let's go girl, her friends shout out loud. So in, so mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plug in her earphones and jog off with a snap. Away to the kitchen we flew like a flash as if we were running a 100 yard dash. I noticed that the children are really using quick feet to hurry up. They know they only have a little bit of time. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops, way too much splatter. Do you know what splatter means? Do you see how the frosting kind of went all over the table? Looks like it's going to be on their bodies. Looks like the children are shielding their face because they don't want to get any cake batter or frosting in their eyes. Hmm, have you ever had a time where you did baking? Did you cause a splatter? <gasps> Who had to clean up the splatter? I hope you helped. We made fancy cards adding our I love you's and a special coupon that mom sure could use. So these are Mother's Day coupons. Do you know what happens when children create Mother's Day coupons? So, usually you write down like several things that you will do for your mom and then you write them on individual coupons then you give them to her and when she feels like she wants to use them, she takes them out and it might say, I'll sweep the kitchen floor. So she says, oh, my kitchen floor needs to be swept. And I remember that my child created a special coupon. So I'm going to take that coupon out and then they'll give you the coupon to redeem it, just to turn it in. And then you have to do whatever the coupon says. Maybe that's something you may want to do for your mom. You think you can create a coupon? When mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What I miss, she said. Nothing, dad said with a wink. We children then nested all snuggle in our beds while visions of mom danced in our heads. What vision do you have of your mom? I wonder if your visions of your mom are very similar to the visions that they have of their mom. Hmm. The next morning we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day.
She read both of our cards after wiping her eyes. A private spa session. <gasps> what a lovely surprise. We took mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. Let's see if we got to all of our metacognition thoughts. I wonder, we said I wonder. I think, I think mom is definitely going to enjoy her special day because I'm looking at her face expression. And as I look at her facial expression, it looks like she is really, really excited and surprised about all the thoughtful things that her family has put together. Then we have, I notice, we noticed that those children had quick feet. Did you notice how those children had quick feet? They were so excited. They were so enthusiastic to make sure that their mother got the best day ever. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very excited and happy because tomorrow is Mother's Day. So I'm wondering, what are my children going to do? And then I'm also wondering, let me push play really quickly. I'm also wondering, what are you going to do for your family? So then we have, we rubbed her shoulders, we massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled. You kids are so sweet. I wrapped a hair turban and covered her hair. Then we dabbed on a mask. No mess anywhere. It's a good thing that they did not cause a splatter like they did with the frosting. I painted her nails. What glittery fun. A top coat of polish. Voila! Manicure done. Dad said the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's the meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. Hmm. I wonder what they're going to be serving. What would you serve? Hmm. It will have to be items that you eat for breakfast. Also, items that you can have for lunch. That's brunch. So, mom hurried off to go and get dressed. We took seats at the table, behaving our best. When what to our wonderful eyes should appear, but the perfect model for mother of the year. Her eyes, how they sparkled. Her hair, how curly. Her cheeks were like roses. Her skirt, very twirly. Mom really went out of her way to make sure that she was dressed to impress. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom. And that's not a boost. Look at that wonderful cake. That cake makes me feel very happy. I wonder what it tastes like. Mm, do you think it tastes like chocolate? Give me a thumbs up if you think it tastes like chocolate. Mm. You think it may be strawberry? I think it may be strawberry also. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly, bop. -la 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 -la. I want to give a special thank you to all of my current students and my students from the past. And I also want to give a great big shout out to um, the Mothers Group in Camden because they are the ones who actually wanted me to go live. So I'm going to jump on a Zoom meet with them right now to say hello to the wonderful ladies. 
and I hope everybody has such a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For now, goodbye to you. We'll see you soon. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to you and you and you. We hope to see you soon. Goodbye, bye, bye. Goodbye, bye, bye. Goodbye, bye, bye. Goodbye to you. Goodbye. So long.